up guys and welcome to Livia's Cooking Saloon. So I asked you guys on my Instagram what you wanted me to create next and I have the idea of making a celebrity recipe. So today we're going to recreate Chloe Kardashian's bomb ass cheesecake. I'm super excited for this. I also probably am going to try to improve this recipe. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box and I think we need to get this started. So what I did first was preheat the oven to 325 degree Fahrenheit or 180 degree Celsius. And next, it says you should have graham crackers and crumble them up, mix them with sugar and melted butter in a bowl. Put them into a cheesecake pan, press it down and bake. So first off, I don't have graham crackers here in Germany, so I got normal butter cookies. And I'm, by the way, I'm going to use half of what Khloe Kardashian used because I attempt to eat this cheesecake by myself. You fat fuck, do it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take half of these. I don't know if that's two cups because that's what she's uh, needed. So I need one cup, but I hate, I just, I just prefer the metric system. So um, I know that a cup measures 250 milliliters, so we're going to, we can estimate the cookies because it's your crust. So it doesn't really matter that you have to have the exact same measurement. My mom used these cookies before to make cheesecake as well. So a little more, you know what, screw it. Let's just use them all. Let's see how this is going. I have them in here, but I'm just gonna destroy them. Day three. See, it's it's coming, it's coming together. There's still a few giant pieces, but all right, that's that's pretty that's pretty good. All right, you're supposed to mix that with a few tablespoons of sugar. She's using actually three tablespoons of sugar and five tablespoons of melted butter. So I'm gonna use approximately two and a little bit, depending on, since I didn't measure how much cookies I use. You know what, I'm gonna do three. And here's a little tip for you. If you wanna melt butter in the microwave, make sure you put a paper towel on top so your microwave is not ruined until the end of days. One. I think this is pretty, pretty good. Taking that paper towel and putting this in the microwave. We might need to use a little more later, but for now, that should be fine. Also, some sugar. She uses three, I'm gonna use one and a half. Make it two. And uh, mix this. And then we take this form. And I wish we had a little smaller one because I'm using just half of the ingredients. But um, I hope it's not turning out super, super flat. So I did this trick before. You just pour a little oil in here. Take paper towel and make sure you get all the edges and all the surface to grease it up so it doesn't stick later. And then what I like to do, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour in there. So basically what you do is this. Oh, this is the other way around. I, I don't know if I'm able to do that. Go around, go around, go around. And then you have a perfectly greased up pan and we have to wait for the butter. How I want to improve this recipe is I asked you guys on Instagram as well, what kind of cheesecake I should make if I should just keep it simple or actually sh should do an apple pie cheesecake or a raspberry swirl and you guys decided raspberry swirl it is so that's how we're going to oh my god it exploded that is what i mean but the paper towel saved it like you can see so we pour this in here and see if this is enough butter oh it smells so good and you know what i'm gonna do you guys i'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in the crust because it enhances the flavor. Like you never, can, you can never go wrong with cinnamon. This should perfectly be fine. You can see if you press it down, it stays. So we're going to put this in here and hope that we have enough crust for this big pan. Oh, it looks good though, it looks very good. Press it down really good so it doesn't crack, it doesn't leak later. Use my hand. Check this out. This looks beautiful. This goes in the oven for 15 minutes. It looks perfect. 
we're going to switch bowls and we're going to do the actual cheesecake part. They want me to combine cream cheese, sugar, flour, vanilla extract, sour cream, and eggs. And they use a mixer, which I do not have. But first up, original recipe, five packed of Philadelphia cream cheese, by the way, the best dairy cream cheese you can find. I'm gonna use half, uh, two and a half, one half. Next, I'm going to put some vanilla extract in here, just eyeball it. And the next thing is, you guys, in Europe, we do not have the systems with the cup, we have the metric system, and I find it hard to you know, calculate the metric uh, measurements for American recipes, but you can do it simple. One cup holds 237 milliliters. I do 250 milliliters, it's easy. So when it says, for example, two cups of sugar, you just fill up where it, for water, it says 500 milliliters, and that's ex almost exactly two cups. And that is what I'm going to do for this recipe. So it asks for one cup of sugar. So I'm gonna do 125 milliliters. That's 150, a little, a little much, even though I like it sweet. Yeah, this is 125 in here. Three tablespoons of flour. I'm going to do one and a half, one and a half. Next, it asks for one cup of sour cream. So what you guys in America call sour cream, we don't have exactly the same thing here, but there's a lot of substitutes for it. For example, Greek yogurt or also cream fresh, which can be found here. They ask for a cup. This is 150 grams. This is almost perfect. This would be 150 uh, milliliters. Is that not even correct? Anyways, I'm going to put this in here instead of sour cream. I'm so bad at like following recipes precise. I just like to make up my own shit. It works most of the time. And it turns out actually pretty good too. Four eggs, I might use two eggs. And now I have to mix it by hand. I'm trying to get the raw Raw ingredients, of course they're raw, but you know, the not very mixed, well mixed up ingredients first with a spoon and then later with a whisker. I'm gonna do a hand job, haha. Oh God. It's getting there. If you need a good biceps workout, that's it. And now, we gotta wait for the crust. Later. All right, so the crust is done. In the brown spots you see is the cinnamon and this needs to cool down for a little bit before we can put the cheesecake on. So this needs to chill for a second. Eventually. All right guys, the crust cooled pretty much down. Can put it on a normal table now. And now it is the truth, we're gonna pour the cream cheese dough in here, just like so. And now the way I improve it, I'm gonna take some raspberry jam and I'm going to do half of the cheesecake. So I just spread three, maybe four, four dots like this. And then I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna just mix it in. Just like so. And now actually comes a trick. So Chloe Kardashian or the recipe says that they wrap the edges of the cheesecake tin foil to prevent cracking. Like basically. And then also what they say, you put it in another pan and add some water to it. This is to keep the cheesecake moist. And now we're gonna put this bad boy in the oven. So now the cheesecake is supposed to bake for one hour and five minutes. I don't know where this time is coming from, but one hour, five minutes, and then you're supposed to turn off the oven, leave the door cracked, and leave it in there for another hour before you refrigerate it for four or plus hours before you enjoy it. So today is Friday, tomorrow is my cheat day, so it's perfect to make this cake a day before the occasion you want to eat it. 
I'm gonna make this for you a YouTube second, so we'll be right back. Tomorrow. Alright guys, it has been the next day and I left this in the oven yesterday for an hour with the door cracked after it was baked and then I put it in the fridge and Khloe Kardashian is right, no cracks. It looks really neat. It looks good. It looks, I'm really happy about that. So now we're going to open this and see. It's gonna be a thin cake because I only used half of the ingredients. Oh, look at that. It is thin, I know, I know that. No, it's fine. But, let's cut this. That crust looks amazing. Does it? Yeah, well, I kinda want a piece of this. Cut this. That looks very good. What is that, blueberry? Yes. All right, and um, this time I'm actually gonna try this for you on camera and tell you if Khloe Kardashian's cheesecake is worth it. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Which thing now get the everywhere suit? Hold on. How is it? Libby, I need to know now. <laughs> I need to know why you're chewing. How is it? Tell me. First, I thought it's really dense. But actually, it's really creamy. I really like it. I give this, I don't know if it's bomb ass approved, but I give this an eight and a half out of 10. Yeah, uh, I'm going to eat this for my cheat day video right now. Thank you so much for watching guys and let me know what else I should recreate. And I see you in the next video. Bye guys.